Welcome back to the Bethlehem story. One of the things that you cannot fail to have noticed as we've looked at Bethlehem and seen the story of this place is that there's a lot more barbed wire than tinsel. You see, Jesus was born under empire. So there's Roman barbed wire, the barbed wire between oppressor and oppressed, between powerful and powerless. His birth was announced to shepherds, shepherds who were hated and despised and considered untrustworthy. And so you have barbed wire between communities, between insider and outsider, between central and marginal. And then when Jesus is born, Herod's kill teams uh, come into the village and kill all of the baby boys. And, and Jesus becomes a refugee and his family flee to Egypt. And so we have the barbed wire of, of statelessness and of the refugee camp. Barbed wire is the human status quo. As slaves of our own sin and slaves of the sins of others, barbed wire wraps around us from birth. We're born in pain and distance and restricted identities. We have barbed wire between communities, between oppressor and oppressed, between powerful and powerless. And Jesus enters our status quo. He's born behind the wire. He's born, if you will, wrapped in barbed wire, wrapped in vulnerability, in mortality, in the human situation. He's born in the identification of God with the marginal and he's born in the solidarity of God with the hopeless. And yet Christmas is a protest against the status quo. We have a child who's born to confront kings. We have a true king who's finally come to displace all usurpers and pretenders to the throne. And when silence is the best strategy for maintaining the status quo, if you want nothing to change, then do nothing and say nothing. God refuses to be silent. God speaks a word into our world. And the word becomes flesh and his name is Jesus. And so Jesus is a message born into our mess. Jesus is a word spoken to a wounded and weary world. Jesus is love come into a land languishing and longing. Jesus is peace proclaimed to those who are in pain and without power. Jesus is born to peel away our barbed wire. The barbed wire around our hearts. The barbed wire around our minds. The barbed wire surrounding our communities. Jesus peels away the barbed wire and we see it in the wounds in his hands. He's born to give freedom. He's born to liberate. He is born to to rescue and to save. He's born to raise the sons of earth, born to give us second birth. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king.